From the champions to the stallions, as Sambang Rangers have undergone a relatively massive change in terms of their foreign lineup. With two stalwarts in Tawan Sripan and Tawachai Ontrakul still on the payroll, the northern side have gone all thigh with the recruitment of two other internationals. And at the helm of things is a man who was responsible in securing a glorious win for Thailand in the grand finals of the 1997 World Youth Cup. And looking at his all new Thai lineup, he believes that it would work to his advantage. The Samba Wang will not have the highest budget to buy the good player from the Yellow. And we think if we look about the ASEAN, I think that it's top of ASEAN, it's a Thai country. If we look at Thai, and now we are. We have the budget to buy the four Thai and come in here. But that's a strategy to why we, we, we buy Thai, you know, because this year, this number one, this uh, style, maybe the chain a little bit, you know, we not to pay for long bond because we not have the, the European for high, for heading. We, we play on the cow, we play bond speed, we play a lot of the, the technique, we play with the cow. I think why we, we look for the Thai. And with a highly creative and dynamic midfielder in Tawan Sripan, it's no wonder that the coach is optimistic. I think it's, this year is we have the four Thai player, and we know each other and we understand uh, what play, position he play. Uh, I think this year we try to play better than last year. And Fearing a problem in defence, the Stalins recruited Niwit Siri Wong, who was formerly from Gombak United. We think I must uh, work hard and local player must work hard together. But I think we uh, for Thai player must pay uh, over 100 percent for high position. As for another familiar face at Sambawang, this 26-year-old international attacking midfielder is also a man of few words. This year, I think uh, this year better uh, last year because I have many young players and, and this day is very strong young player. I think this year better for um, uh, last year. Now, although these Thai players have not acquired the skills to speak proper English, they've clearly proven their other skills of being the best footballers in Southeast Asia. And the latest addition to the club is a 21-year-old forward in the form of Bamrong Pumron. He was part of the World Youth Cup winning team in 97 and was roped in specially by Vorawan. As for the local lads, Yazid Yasin has returned from his national service stint with Home United and is raring to go for the Stallions. And another newcomer is a former Police Sports Association defensive midfielder, Azmi Mahmoud. I think the mid-table lah. Because our team is quite young side, so with the four ties, we can make a surprise to the Aesthetic team. Lah. Upset to the like SAF or what. Well, hunting season is about to begin and hopefully the Sambawang Rangers are fully loaded to go.